Hi everyone, CNXsoft here. This little blue box here is called Voyo VMAC Mini, also called Voyo V1. And it's powered by an Apollo Lake processor, Intel Pentium N4200, a quad core processor. Uh, and I've connected Ethernet, HDMI, USB keyboard and mouse, and a USB hard drive. And previously I tried to connect a USB flash drive but I had to use a USB hub or it would not be recognized. Alright, so I'm going to show uh, Windows, uh, do some user tests, so let's get started. Alright, so now I am in Windows, so I will start by checking activation status. and apparently the system has a right license so no problem here just some quick system info okay so it has windows 10 home so I'd like to say the lines, the vertical lines, are just a problem with my TV. And the processor is a Intel Pentium N4200 with 4GB RAM and Windows is 64 bits. And the storage is... Ah, the storage is interesting. Because... Okay, uh, just look C and D drive. So the first drive is a C drive with 120 gigabytes and the second drive is a eMMC flash. So Windows has, a li has a, some license agreements that say if you have a PC with 4 gigabyte RAM and 32 gigabyte flash, then you don't need to pay the full price for the license. But here what Voyo has done, they have installed it Windows on the larger drive, so maybe it's in breach of the license. So that's just a small warning. And now I'm going to start multiple programs like I would do on my main PC to see how long it takes to start. Thunderbird, Firefox, GIMP and LibreOffice. I have just restarted the PC, so there is no cache or anything. And everything has already started, so that's pretty good. That's pretty impressive for an inexpensive machine like this. And I usually don't have problem to open documents. But I have noticed uh, LibreOffice can be a little slow on this machine when I open larger files. And actually those are not really large files, of just a few uh, kilobytes. But anyway, uh, this is working okay, this is acceptable for uh, office use. And now let me open multiple tabs. in Firefox
and some longer bigger pages as well So it's not quite as fast as a standard PC, but I think okay the page is loaded now. So maybe we'll scroll faster. Okay, it's still acceptable, let's say. So let's uh, play a flash game. Oh, okay, I can see it's here. It's actually the first time I load the game. I had just installed Flash before, but I haven't tried the game. Just before this I also did a 2 hour stress test and there is no CPU throttling or anything like that. So if you have some heavy tasks that runs on this type of machine, eh, there will be no problem about temperature or anything like that. But if you push the machine hard, the, the fan will be a little noisy. I think I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, okay. So animation is not perfect, I don't know. Yeah, I was expecting something a little better here. Yeah. Okay, and now I'm going to play a YouTube video. It can be done in Firefox. Uh, but there will be some frames dropped so instead I'm going to do it in Microsoft Edge let's try a 4k video And this is playing perfectly. No frame drops and it, it looks good.
the display is uh, the resolution is 1080p I will show you soon so let's stop this okay we just show a quick game the one I always run on Windows PCs Asphalt 8 Airborne We have seen in the benchmarks before that Apollo Lake is quite similar to Braswell and Oops to Braswell and Cherry Trail Okay And for this game it will be almost the same as before Maybe a little improvement Playable but not perfect it's not a 60 frames per second uh, playback. Finally, I want to show Cody. So I installed Cody 17 RC3. some videos from my hard drive let's start with 4k video but first ok you can see the video input is 1080p 60 this is the video input to my AV receiver ok so currently this is not 4k resolution but I have configured automatic frame rate switching so for example if we play this 4K video with H.264 codec ok you get a message optimal resolution notification and you can see the input switch to 4K 30Hz so uh, Kodi will automatically switch to 4K when it's possible and playback is working pretty well this not too bad and I enabled uh, audio pass through so this one is Dolby D 5.1 and this is working as expected so now if we switch to H.265 10 bit H.265 This is also working well. And this one is a 60 frames per second video. It's a 4K video at 60 frames per second, so the system did not switch to 
for 4K video output because this is only HDMI 1.4 limited to 4K at 30 Hz and instead it's outputting 1080p 60 to match the frame rate. This one is a VP9, 4K VP9. And th there is no acceleration, I think, in, in Intel platforms for VP9. So the CPU usage is always 100% because this is handled by software, FFVP9 software. You can see in the video decoder section on the left side of the screen. Okay, one, one last type of video. It's a 10-bit H.264 uh, video with 4K resolution. And uh, Cody hanged. The system is still running. But not Cody. Okay, I close the program. So when this video played last time, it was not playing well at all because 4K 10-bit uh, H.264 requires software uh, decoding and the 4K is a li little too high and the video was not smooth at all maybe a few frames per second maybe 5 or 10 frames per second okay I've already shown the uh, the 4K videos I wanted to show but finally I will complete with some audio test we have seen Dolby Digital 5.1 is working so let's try it through HD. There is audio, but you can see this is only stereo audio. So through HD pass through is not working. And now DTS HD Master 7.1. And this is only partially working because it will only pass DTS 5.1. Okay, and this is the same for HDMA and DTS X. All right, that's all I wanted to demo about this platform. So. Uh, Thanks for watching. If you want more technical details, you can read the, the review in the description below. Thanks. Bye-bye.